Hey folks, Robert here, and I wanted to show you this snifty little app that allows you to wirelessly transfer from your iPad to your PC and files from your PC to your iPad. Now, this um, only works if you are on a network, so you have to find a Wi-Fi connection. It can't just do from uh, one to the other. And it's called Air Transfer, and it's a free app and let me show you how it's going to work. So you go ahead and tap on it. The app opens up and we are going to see these different categories that it has for us. Now we have we can transfer texts, bookmark, images, music, movies, documents, all of these types of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the plus sign down at the lower corner here. Photos and videos. And we see that one video, and I went ahead and did a massive transfer, which is why you're not seeing much, but there is one video that is on my camera roll, and I'm going to go ahead and tap that and select it and we're going to click on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. Now it is in and if you'll notice off to the left the movies now has a one there and you can go ahead and play uh, your video and this is a little animation skit that I did and I want to go ahead and transfer it to my PC. So we're going to go back and what you are going to have to do is you are going to have to make sure that you are on a like I said a connection and if you'll notice I've went ahead and clouded out my network name but I put up a generic ID or IP address and this is what you are going to have to uh, tap in or type in to your browser of choice to be able to download this file so it's a basic thing and it has to be exact this thing while it operates or while it's on this app air transfer it operates as a type of server uh, server software so it turns your iPad or your iPhone into a mobile server now you can use any browser to download files but you are going to have to use Internet Explorer from your computer to be able to upload files to your iPhone or iPad or mobile device. So we're going to go ahead and go to the computer and I want to show you what it looks like from Okay, so the computer side of things is going to function just like this and I'm going to go ahead and use Internet Explorer to be able to do this. Now on my desktop I have gone ahead and created a bookmark so that I can easily tap on it and get to my air server software and really you can do this for sake of convenience and it really helps out with regard to keeping things really simple so and keep in mind that the app has to be running on your mobile device for this to be able to work otherwise if it's not it's like a 404 error you know going to a website and not finding the site up so I'm going to double click the air transfer Now, what you're going to notice in this field, you're going to notice uh, several things. You're going to, you can go ahead and add a memo if you choose. You can go ahead and type on camera roll, or you can type on category, that type of thing. But I'm going to go ahead and switch to camera roll and show you what this looks like. So we have one video that is up here, and we are going to go ahead and well we're going to go ahead and tap on the select all but you can select individual photos or videos or any other files that you want and we're going to go ahead and click on the download button now depending upon how you have this set up um, you, it will go to your automatic download folder that you have set up we are going to go ahead and do a save as because I want to show you that you can choose where to save things. So we're going to go ahead and save this to a um, to our desktop and it's going to save it as a zip file. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And depending upon your network speed, 
it's going to take a while to be able to transfer. This doesn't replace cording up your mobile device, but it can give you an option for which to make transfers to and from. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this since it's already done this. We're going to open up our zip file and as you can see the video file is already there as an mp4. Now this is the other cool thing that we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we are going to go ahead and add some items. Now remember, we can only do this through Internet Explorer. Going through Chrome or Firefox, as of the making of this recording, you are not able to upload to your mobile device. So we're going to go ahead and you can drag your files to that. We're going to go ahead and do that. And I have gone ahead and I want to upload um, pictures of my little kitty. Hermione. And we're going to go ahead and copy and drag these files here. We're going to expand the windows so we get more real estate. And as you can see, it is in the process of uploading these files to our mobile device. So they are already there. Let's go ahead and do this. And now I'm going to show you what it's going to look like on the mobile device and how you can transfer them from the app to your mobile device. Now, we're back to our device or our app here, which is still um, up and running on my iPad. And once again, this can be used for iPhone. And I imagine that the Android Marketplace has this exact same thing or something very similar. Now, if you'll notice off to the left-hand side, the images before we did the upload, there was nothing there. But if we go ahead and tap on the images, we will see that there are four images that have been uploaded to our iPad. Now this works with um, other documents. If you wanted to upload um, text or if you wanted to upload PDFs or um, any videos that are on your PC or music files as well, you can upload them directly to your iPad. Now what we do is we go ahead and we transfer each one of these to our camera roll and I want to show you if I scroll to my camera roll there is only one thing that I have and that was the video that we transferred from this camera roll to the PC now I'm gonna go ahead and transfer each one of these files to my camera roll and we go ahead and we tap on the menu button which we should be all familiar with and we're going to go ahead and tap on save image and we do this for each one of these he was a good kitty he's no longer with us but while he was with us we enjoyed him and loved him okay now, we're going to go back to our camera roll, and as you can see, the images have been saved to the camera roll. So, it's called Air Transfer, and it's free. Now there are other apps out there that can do the same thing, but this is the one that I found as of this recording that is free as well as having pretty good reviews. And um, I would give it a try. Uh, it, it's a slower process than if you were to take and hook up your um, iPhone or iPad to your computer and do a transfer from there. It will take slower because it is going wirelessly um, you keep in mind that you also have to be on a network to be able to uh, have this happen. While you're transferring to and from your iPad uh, and computer, you um, will have to make sure that this app is open at all times. If it shuts down, it's like shutting down a server um, within a website. You will not be able to see anything. And once you have your URL 
in your um, browser of choice and I would just go ahead and choose Internet Explorer so you can um, so that you can do all of these things once you have your network set up and once you have your URL go ahead and drag the bookmark to your desktop or set it in your favorites or whatever you want to do so that you can quickly access it so that you don't have to type in this long um, pain in the butt IP address so that is it for this I hope that this helps you out in doing um, airdrops <laughs> it's basically an airdrop from your iPad iPhone to your PC and from your PC to your iPad and iPhone thanks and have a spectacular day